Hi guys. I'm at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital and... You over there, come here, we need help! Alright, oh this gosh. patient needs resuscitation. Ah. Can you pass me the C-Mac blade? Over there, the ah. green one, the one in the trolley. Okay, now bring it over here. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. You need to turn it on as well. Ah, how to turn it Oh, his eyeballs look very weird, but okay, that's not the point. Hi, I'm Celia, a respiratory therapist here at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital. What you just saw was some of the work that we do as RTs, and while it can get chaotic, we're usually more professional. Hey! Hey, come, come, come. Touch your tongue. It's very soft and very soft and squishy. Ooh. Lungs are one of the most important organs of our body. When we breathe in, the air gets channeled into smaller and smaller tubes called bronchioles that end in tiny air sacs called alveoli. These alveoli are covered with blood vessels that take oxygen from the sac and expel carbon dioxide, bringing fresh air to the rest of the body. Without our lungs, our body would definitely shut down. This is the reason why Celia and other artists like her are so important. So what we did earlier was a process called intubation, where we insert a breathing tube into the airway of a patient. So usually it's the doctors who do the intubation itself, but artists are the one who prepare all the necessary equipment, including ventilators, and assist throughout the procedure. Mm. So we need to do intubation when a patient is too sick to breathe on their own. And so we insert the breathing tube to ensure that their lungs get enough oxygen and carbon dioxide is removed from the body. I hope you were taking notes because now it's your turn to try an intubation. Me? Yeah. What right. Alex? You have five minutes. No, your time no, starts we... now. Okay, right, yeah, I think pick she Pick up the laryngeal thing. Oh, okay, Alex, I can see you. Okay, okay. So we start by giving medications to make sure the patient is safely sedated so that they won't move during the procedure and we don't feel any pain. Then we use a laryngoscope which helps open the mouth and hold the tongue out of the way. We position it at the vallecula to visualize the vocal cords and the airway. Now that we see where the airway is, we can attempt to insert the breathing tube. Once the tube is inserted, we immediately ventilate to check that the tube is in the airway and not the esophagus. Let me check. Yeah, you got it. I can tube people now. The final oh, step is to secure the tube and input safe and appropriate ventilator settings before connecting the patient to the vent. Okay, so I know that the intubation procedure is very important, but is there any other responsibility that an RT holds as well? Yeah, of course. We assist the doctors and nurses that with anything that has to do with breathing. We monitor patients' blood oxygen levels, even in less critical patients, and we assist doctors in bronchoscopies. And because we're more specialised, we can give alternative suggestions to the doctors in charge. So we're also trained on specialised modes of the ventilator, so we can sometimes tell issues with patients' lungs just from reading pressure and volume measurements on the vent. Oh wow! I would imagine that you guys are pretty much needed in the ICU and also the doctors would probably already have their hands filled with many other responsibilities. Yeah, so we provide specialist input to the doctors to free up their mental capacity to provide best care for patients. So we also respond to urgent calls for help anywhere in the hospital anytime a patient's heart stops or they stop breathing. So in those emergency situations, it's the RT's job to protect the airway, make sure the patient receives enough oxygen regardless of the emergency. Oh, I to run. Ah, Alex. Okay, he's fine. In 2019, three of the top 10 causes of deaths worldwide are linked to respiratory diseases. In Singapore, respiratory diseases like asthma and chronic bronchitis are amongst the top 20 leading causes of disability. During COVID, RTs were among the front lines not just caring for critically ill patients, but also actively innovating with the doctors to better understand the effects of the disease and the best ways to treat it. With all these prevalent lung issues, I'm really glad that there are professionals like Celia around to provide critical medical support to the patients who need them. So one thing that really scares people about critical care is the chance that patients might pass away despite us giving the best possible care. Mm. And if there's anything that I've learned during my time working as an RT, it's really the importance of a respectful death as well as a meaningful life. Mm. So while the instinct might be to do every surgery and give every medication possible to save someone, sometimes the physicians need to consider whether this would be a meaningful recovery for the patient. As many of our patients are elderly and might already have existing conditions that overlap, even a regular infection to you or I might be catastrophic for them. In these cases, the team then needs to evaluate if the patient has meaningful recovery from this episode. 
So at this point, we choose to see the patient as a person rather than just another case. And we ask the questions of would they prefer to have their last moments be spent doing more procedures, having more lines, or would they rather be kept comfortable and pass peacefully? Mm. So together with the family and loved ones, the medical team then makes these decisions. And the RG is part of the process to, to determine the patient's recovery as well. So while every life is precious and every patient passing is sad, I personally feel that the medical team takes comfort in knowing that we all performed to the best of our abilities and did all we could, even up to the very last breath. Wow, that sounds really heavy, but thank you all so much for the work that you do. It must, not, it must have not been very easy to go through this from time to time. Yeah. I didn't know you do that as an RT, I thought you just... Incub intubate. <laughs> Thank you so much Celia for sharing with us your experience and also letting everyone know what an RT life is like. I'll take my leave now. Bye-bye and Alex, goodbye. No, I know, let me go. Let me go. Bye-bye. No. Live well. If you guys like what you have seen and if you are interested in becoming an allied health professional just like Celia, do check out our link in bio for more information on respiratory therapists and other allied health professions which provide different types of care for patients. There are also healthcare scholarships available for you to tap on if you wish to start on your journey down on one of these important healthcare professions. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.